guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. Look what came in the mail today, the Pokemon Pokemon Book Crawl. It's huge. So let me tell you guys how I managed to get the box. So the Pokemon Book Book Crawl is probably one of the hardest lucky bags to get now because it just exploded in popularity over the last few years. So the first time I got the Pokemon Book Book Crawl was I can't remember, maybe like five years ago, I went to the Pokemon Center at around 7 a.m. in the morning and lined up. I got two, I remembered, and I was like one of the first few in line that year. Then I went back the year after and I lined up around 7 a.m. once again, and I was nowhere near to get the lucky bag because I remember the line got cut off and we were really far away the bag got so much more popular because it's a really good price it's only around 4,000 yen so I think if my math is mathing in USD that's like maybe like 30 25 to 30 dollars for this box and you get so much stuff in there so it's really good value for money so yeah after that like to get the bag you had to line up at like 5 a.m. So I still managed to get the box somehow over the years. The one year I missed out on it when I was lining up at 7am, someone sold me their bag. So that was really lucky. And then after that, I think like COVID happened. So I was in Australia. I never was able to get the lucky box. So after COVID, what happened was they don't sell the lucky bag in the Pokemon store anymore. It's all done online. So you have to join a lottery for a chance to buy the lucky box. So this year, I joined the lottery along with Eric, my friend Hannah and Matt, and okay, four of us joined. We thought surely one of us was going to win the lucky box, but none of us did. We all lost the lottery. So the only way to get it was to buy it off someone else that won and didn't want the bag anymore. So I bought it off someone else and I paid double for the box. So the box is 4,400 yen. I paid, I think, 9,100 yen for this lucky box, but I still think it's worth it because I remember last year the box was really good and I feel like everything inside it was, it's stuff that you can still buy at the Pokemon Center right now and it would have cost like maybe $400 to buy everything inside the box. So I'm going to unbox this Pokemon lucky bag box thing in a different video um, so I'm gonna do that now and we're gonna head out later today to a shrine because it's you know New Year's in Japan and we're gonna do the Japanese tradition of going to a shrine and then yeah just grabbing some lunch so I just unboxed the Fukubukuro and look it was a good haul very good haul so I'm just gonna leave this here for now because some of my friends are going to be taking some of the stuff in the Fukubukuro and I'm gonna keep some of it for myself Andy has frozen his camera. DJI works amazing. We have arrived in Monza Nakacho. It's pretty busy. I guess that's to be expected. All right, so the line for the shrine visit. It's pretty long. So I think we're gonna get some food first and then we're gonna go to the shrine. I think we should do it. We should like, like we're here, right? It's, That's a huge line. I know, but it's a tradition, right? <sighs> a sieves though, <laughs> kind of sieves. We'll see, we'll see, because Hina is upset. Eat street food for lunch because there's like a whole Japanese festival going on for New Year's. Got yakisoba. Mm. Oh, that's good yakisoba. This is Andy. We've adopted him Thanks, <laughs> for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> this is going good though. Mm -hmm. Six hundred yen. I'm so hungry. This is like perfect. Mm. 
It's like so hot right now. Nice and fresh. Then hopefully we can make it to the shrine after and make our wish. If you can see it's lighting up. Kim, what's your 2024 wish? I said it before, right? And I forgot what I said. What'd you say? Fix my eyes. <laughs> Because I can't oh. see. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I need to fix my eyes. Yeah, because my eyes are really bad and I struggle every day, so I want to fix my eyes this year. <laughs> but that's not really a wish, that's more like I need to get off my eyes and do it. <laughs> well, no, it's not a wish, it's um, a New Year's resolution. I'm going to wake up early. And I woke up at 9 ish today, right? So it's not, it's not terrible, better than what it was before. Um, wake up early, be more consistent on YouTube because <laughs> last year <laughs> pretty inconsistent. Stay healthy. I say that and I'm like, I'm going to get some potato and butter. I love how you can put your own toppings. I put a lot of butter on because butter is life. Butter is everything. Everything tastes good with butter. Mm. Oh my I had like a massive bucket just of butter. <laughs> this is so good. Japanese butter is amazing. Amazing. Except I don't know if we're going to make it to a temple. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're going to make it either. The line is so long. <laughs> it's like it's ridiculous. Like. People have to line up at the park. There's not many tourists around here, but it's, I mean, because it's one of the biggest shrines. So I wanted to come here because I came here to get the Mr. Donut Puka Puka and I realized there was a massive shrine here and not so touristy. That's why I thought it would be good to come here as a festival. for the New Year's. Oh. oh, okay. I got a little short kitschy. It's not terrible. Not amazing. Oh my god, you got die kitschy! Where is this? Eric, you got Daikichi! Oh, yeah. oh my god, you... I don't know oh shoot! Is. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so Andy and I are going to tie up our fortunes because I just had a little luck, it's not so bad. Um, Andy got terrible luck. <laughs> Alright. It's okay, I, I got Daikichi last time so I can't get it all the time, I guess. Right I've never done these. This is my first time, I think. Wait, what? At least first time doing it for New Year's. Oh. Dragon. Dragon now? Dragon. How was your first shrine visit? It's very disappointing. <laughs> we only get better from here. Yes, yes. That's all that matters. It's okay, we, we tied up our bad luck. It's fine. We're going to get Mr. Donut because I can use my card because I got 50 donuts. I've got 42 left and I have to use them up in five months. So yeah, just get as many as you want because last year I didn't use it up and I gave it to someone else. Because I don't come here often to get Mr. Donut. It's not convenient, so... I love this mushroom ones. So good. 
I remember there was one year I got the Pokemon bag and I got 20 donuts. And I had to use it up in one day because I had like 18 left because it was like the last day. So and you bought 20 donuts? Yeah, with my friend. And oh, we sat there goodness. eating and we felt so sick after. <laughs> <laughs> I do like short stop. Oh, short stop is pretty good. <laughs> I do like short stop. <laughs> I've had a stint in Varanga as well. And that was the only <laughs> thing keeping me alive. Short, <laughs> short stop. <laughs> and a bakery. What's that bakery called? Um, Burke Street. Burke Street. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, so the sausage rolls. Oh. So good. That was a great lunch. <laughs> I miss sausage rolls. I want a damn sausage roll. <laughs> where, where can you get sausage rolls in Japan? I'm sure we can get them. It is the next day, last night after dinner, I was just pretty much editing videos because I was trying to get all the Fukubukuro videos up um, as soon as possible and I'm going to have to do that tonight as well. But today I am going to head out, I'm not exactly sure where, but either to Shibuya or Shinjuku because Eric and I need to do some shopping. We want to buy a rice cooker because I, okay, we bought a rice cooker in Japan years ago and we specifically bought an international version so we can use it in Australia. So in Japan, they use 110 volts for the voltage. Australia uses 220 to 240. Now, we bought a rice cooker that would work in Australia, so it was like 220. But I thought that because we bought it in Japan, I assumed it was going to be 110 to 220 volts, so dual voltage. It wasn't, but I didn't know that because I didn't check. So, you know, we used the rice cooker in Australia, it was great. We took it to Japan with us and then I cooked rice and the rice was severely undercooked. So I was like, okay, maybe I just haven't cooked in a while. I got the ratios wrong. I cooked rice again, like, I don't know, a few weeks later and the same thing happened. It was really undercooked and I measured everything correctly. So I checked the voltage and realized, oh, it's 220 volts only, which means that I cannot use it in Japan. So I gave it away to my cousin to bring back to Australia to gift to someone else. So we've been without a rice cooker and I've been cooking rice on the stove and it's, you know, not the same. And it's just, you know, a lot more work than I would want to do. So we're going to buy that. And apparently there's sales right now going on because of the New Year's. 
Um, I also do want to get a new hairdryer. I'm thinking about getting a Dyson. Not sure. We'll see. If there's a sale, I'll think about it because I'm using like, I don't know, some random hairdryer right now and it sucks because I was trying to blow dry my hair yesterday and it was just taking way too long. So yeah, if we can get those two today, I'll be happy. And then I know Eric just wants to shop around for some boots as well because we are going to do a snow trip in about a week and a half so that's really exciting we're going to nozawa onsen for the fire festival we have made it to shinjuku and we're gonna try and get some curry udon let's hope there's no lime <laughs> We're here, there's a bit of a line, but it shouldn't be too bad. To be fair, there's like peak lunch time. What time is it? One o'clock? 12.30. That's fine. We can do hot pot too now. Okay, this has changed a lot since I've last been here. Uh, before they only had like just a menu, just udon. I want to try a lot of things. Yeah, there's so many, there's so many things here. Creamy crab croquet. Like, that looks pretty good too. <laughs> just be all. I'll just have like some salad. <laughs> just a piece of lettuce, thanks. Come on, come on, you can do it, Andy. <laughs> oh, jeez. We need the software engineer to do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait. oh, shit, this is actually like, actually grabs. Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh. No. No! Oh my god! Eric got it! Wow, what a man! So we're going to buy some outdoor gear for Eric. I'm so happy with this. There's lucky bags here. They tell you what's inside it though. Oh, is this a Disney one? Oh, it's for kids. We are now going to head to Big Camera. See if we can find out a rice cooker. Okay, this is the same one that we got, which is such a good rice cooker, but we can't use it here. So we need a Japan one. It's fancy. Why is it so expensive? Well, what does it make? Like cakes and stuff as well? I guess you can use them as slow cookers as well. Yeah, maybe. they can be used as slow cookers. Oh, that's fair enough then. Yeah, just, just one. Basic one. This one is smaller than the one we have, but it's like 3,000 yen cheaper on Amazon. But what's this? 20% off today or...? Oh, you got to buy two things, you got to get three things, you got 20% off. So we didn't end up buying anything. Well, look, we got this. Not exactly what we came here for, but it's okay, because the rice cooker was cheaper to buy on Amazon for the same model. And the Dyson, I feel like we'll just wait. <laughs> yeah, we because the one on sale at Big Camera was like funky colors, and we just wanted like a normal color. Pokemon for Coca Cola, that's the 
yours. Eric has taken Hina out for a walk because I just don't feel so good today. Like I'm just feeling extremely exhausted. So I feel like I'm gonna go to a doctor to get one of those health checkups because I never usually do this. It's funny because what I find is that my American friends, they say that they go to the doctors quite a lot in Japan because it's so much more affordable. But for me, I'm, you know, from Australia, so I'm used to free healthcare. So I don't even think about going to the doctors. I'll only go if I'm like crawling on the floor and I can't even walk properly, you know, which never really happens because I don't get sick that often. But yeah, I feel like as I'm getting older, I am feeling way more tired and I probably should go and get a health checkup to see if everything is okay. So I might try and book that in maybe over the next couple of weeks. And also, I need to work on my eyes as well because I don't know, or I probably have mentioned this before in videos like years ago, but I really wanted to get my eyes fixed because one of my eyes is just really bad. So I have perfect vision on one eye, but my left eye is super blurry. I think it's like minus four or something like that. So if I don't wear my glasses, I get major headaches and it's really hard for me to focus. I also do not wear contact lenses just because I tried. I couldn't get it in and I gave up. So I did ask in Sydney if I can do LASIK, but unfortunately I can't because my cornea is too thin. So there was another option where it's like a permanent contact lens in your eye, which I wanted to do, but you had to go back every couple of months for a checkup. But at that time I was moving or planning to move to Japan, so I couldn't do it in Australia. So I feel like now that we know that we're going to stay in Japan, I probably should go and get all of that done. Yeah, this year we're going to try and work more on health, wake up earlier, um, you know, fix all my health problems. So yeah. Um, for the rest of the night, I'm just literally going to be editing and I'm going to get Uber Eats for dinner as well because I just don't want to go out. I'm super tired. But today, you know, we went out to Shinjuku planning to buy stuff but we didn't end up getting much. Eric just got a jacket and I got the da well, Eric got me the Dadama. He walked past and saw this and he was like, Kim, you want this, right? And I was like, yes, I do. So I'm very happy with it. Um, and yesterday was a great day as well. We got to do the shrine visit for New Year's and there was a full-on Japanese festival there which I didn't know was happening but I wanted to go back to Monzen Nakacho because I went there to buy Fukubukuro a few weeks ago and I realized there was a really beautiful shrine there that's why I wanted to go back for the New Year's shrine visit because I thought it wasn't going to be as busy as you know Meiji Jingu for example and it was busy but the line moved really quickly so yeah that was successful and I had a lot of fun um, yeah our friend Andy is staying over for a couple of days as well so we've been just kind of taking him around a little bit but he's doing his own thing tonight but yeah um, I'm gonna end this video here guys thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys